Hey guys, I'm super pumped to announce you a new integration with Trigify. Trigify is specialized in social signals. I will let Max, the CEO of Trigify, explain to you how the integration works, and then I will showcase you a workflow between Trigify and Brightcold. What is going on, guys? We just announced probably one of the biggest integrations that we're going to be doing this year, and that is with none other than Brightcold. These guys are honestly one of my favorite tools that I've been using recently from a CRM perspective, and it fits so well with Triggerfy. So a few weeks ago, I announced a playbook uh, that I've been running for the past year that has booked us thousands and thousands of meetings, and it's called the Network Effect Playbook. And I wanted to go over today how I'm incorporating Breakhold into this playbook and making sure that it sits part of this framework that we've been working on and developing. So if we have a look at the uh, kind of motion that we've built here, which is the playbook, and if you haven't joined already, I'm doing a six weeks uh, masterclass starting next week, showcasing this exact framework. But if we have a look at a particular subsection here, and this particular subsection is tracking thought leaders of individuals that talk about issues that your company uh, solves, right? And so how can we take the engagement that these thought leaders are getting and pass them through to our CRM? So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go to Triggerfy and we're going to go and find anyone that talks about things that are relevant to us, right? So we could say, okay, uh, marketing, it could be automation, it could be social data, um, it could be a whole range of different kind of keywords that are, are key to you. And I want them to talk about it regularly um, over the last 30 days and have a decent following. So let's say over 10,000, basically. This is going to allow you to go find those individuals that talks about the subject area that is kind of key to you. Um, and then from there, you can actually start to track these individuals. So for example, uh, I could start tracking Dan here. I could start tracking Ben, Monica, Patrick, all of these individuals that probably have a really good ICP for me based on what they tend to talk about on a regular basis. Um, once we've done that and we've set them up via the engagement tracking, we're then going to start pulling any engagement that those individuals are getting. So the one that I have used quite regularly kind of actually over the past 12 months is actually tracking Eric Mosowski. Um, and here we have all of the leads basically coming in uh, of people who engage with his post, where we've then filtered this data down automatically on ones that I only care about, i.e. the individuals that I deem as being kind of ICP. From there, it's so, so simple for us to do this. We're literally just going to select the leads or all of the leads and chuck them through to break hold, right? And what happens is then over time, it's going to work through all of these in, these leads individually and then start pinging them through into our break cold uh, CRM. Now, this is just the start of this integration where we can then connect individuals and leads straight through to break cold, uh, kind of a, a click of a button. I have big plans. The plans will be also sending data from break cold through to Triggerfy and also creating kind of an automation work piece where Triggerfy can start to kind of auto update and populate leads inside of your break code for you <clears throat> at a click of a button as well, which is really, really exciting. But this is our V1 kind of launch into this uh, kind of integration. And I think given they are, you know, a social CRM, this pairing could not be more exciting. And I cannot wait what we're going to do with them over the next 12 months. Do you want to share the, the little bit of a workflow that you've created, I guess, off the back of that? It'd be, it'd be cool to see. Yes, yeah, so uh, I, I try to save time. Uh, so I will do like window by window. Uh, yeah. Essentially, like, um, for example, first you are in like the default leaders um, section of uh, Trigify. And so let me actually refresh that. I think I, it was letting you for too long. So, sorry, back then. So you go to the default leaders section of Trigify and it, let's do my scenario. So my scenario, it's a sales CRM with social selling capabilities. So for my use case, like I would go after people who at least maybe talk once about social selling, right? So I would say, okay, social selling keywords, um, they talked about it in the last 14 days. I want people in the UK, in the States, and I want them to have, um, I don't want LinkedIn influencers. I want people with less than 10K followers. 
ideally I want to go after people between zero and 5,000. And so from there, you have a bunch of people and let's take the example of Courtney that I, 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 I took for the example. So you will take Courtney, you can take the whole list, but for the example, I just done uh, the, 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 this woman. And so essentially you take her, um, right now you, right now you will push that to an audience within Trigify. So I will skip that scenario quickly. Then within the Trigify, you will push it to Brightcall. And I want to, to do a pause here because technically, if you want to go even beyond, you could, you could take like, uh, I don't know, uh, ah, the, sorry, I can't even see my windows <laughs> is yeah. Going back there. So technically you can take all the people and putting them in, in an audience, and then you can be like pushing them in, in a Trigify in signals and waiting until they talk about another topic. And then only then you will push it to Brad call, but just to simplify the example, we say, okay, push it to Brad call. So then I will skip the, the, the step. It goes to Brad call. And then within the Brad call, again, the goal, it's, it's a CRM, but also aggregate the LinkedIn pairs of the person. So in Trigify, they do detect that the person is talking about X stuff on LinkedIn. Sometimes you have the, the LinkedIn post URL, but you cannot engage with it uh, because it's really uh, to qualify the leads, not to engage and nurturing them. In Brad call, it's like the, the other parts. So you take the lead to Brad call, and then you like, okay, where is this post about social selling? Then you type it and you will find the post, which here is like seven days ago. And yeah, there's one like 14 days ago. And then you have it, there you have it. Like the, the, the post about like, so talking about social selling, you can see that she's selling like a LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn growth specialist or so LinkedIn services. He like was like a recruitment event. And so from there, what you can do, like you can just like, come in with the post. So here, uh, I will go quickly. Uh, and essentially like then depending on the scenarios, again, with everything that we talked about, either by changing the, the status of the lead, you can say, okay, engage. So here, I haven't done the comment, but you can imagine. And then automatically using Brackle, it will push the lead to uh, like a smart lead campaign, a hey, which campaign or whatever. Or if you want to do it like LinkedIn account-based marketing, so super manually, what you would do is that maybe you will like jump straight away um, to the to the LinkedIn profile of the person if you're not connected uh, with the person yet, which is most likely the case. So yeah, I already sent the the, the invite this morning. Uh, I wanted her to accept it before the the webinar, but <laughs> we, we, I failed. No <laughs> dice. <laughs> like you, you send the invite notes and uh, you yeah, and you 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 do something very basic like uh, love your post um, about. Um, um, so social selling um, uh, with the recruitment. So I don't remember like the, the topic. I don't remember what I said exactly, but I, pro I, I, I told something related to the post mixing like the recruitment part and social selling because she's selling like how when the event at agency expo, I uh, love the post, uh, funny video. Uh, I think it was like Trema, like funny video because well, the, the, really the video was quite, kind of a meme. And yeah. so my point with this is that then you do this and the likely scenario, uh, which I felt this morning, I, I thought like within an hour she would accept, but one hour was maybe a bit too ambitious, uh, is that then like um, the, the the thing that's gonna happen is that uh, when people accept your LinkedIn invites uh, in Brad call, um, automatically, again, it's seeing the converse on LinkedIn and it goes to the LinkedIn inbox. And your only job then is that you go to the LinkedIn inbox right there and it's all about like following up again and again. So here it's a, a different example where I just say, so you try Brackle, the person accepted, didn't reply, I follow up like very basically. Um, but the thing is, you can also leverage the post from there and referencing. So for example, in Trigify, you can say, okay, I want people who were talking about like lead generation. This guy, I don't know if he talks about lead generation, but I think he talks about outbound. And so from there, you can just leverage all this post. Why are you talking with the person to your advantage? So you can use that as a PS line and you follow up if the person doesn't reply. So here it was very simple. You see, I even didn't use like any like social post. I, I knew I could had this guy was such a, such a good fit. But if it didn't came back to me, I would have been like more aggressive and starting to like engage the post. And again, like the only job you have once the conversation started within Brackle is using um, like the automation part of Brackle or not, just creating task and the job is pretty easy. You see what you have to do. You click here, you go back, you do the DMs 
and uh, you're just like a machine at engaging and nurturing the lead uh, to never lose the momentum. And from there, there's a bunch of automations you can do using other integrations, Slack, et cetera, uh, lead scoring system. But yeah, uh, it's love uh, that. I'm getting lost a bit. So yeah. No, no, I love that. Funny enough, I actually, uh, it's funny that that guy popped up. I, I introduced him to you guys. <laughs> okay, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, was just, it was just cool. So that that's awesome. Like, I love that workflow. Like, it's literally find the thought leaders that you want to reach out to and then start engaging with them. But you're going at it from like a micro perspective as well. Yeah, um, I think it's really cool. Like there is the, the use cases are pretty endless, right? Like another use case <clears throat> that was coming to my mind was rather than using our social signals or thought leaders perspective, funny enough, I suppose I just did now is like, hey, why don't I track all of the engagement that my competitors are getting? Yeah. And send that engagement through to a specific list inside of Breakhold. Um, and then from there, start to social warm with the people who are engaging with my competitors. And yeah. it goes back to your original theory, which is like, hey, just surround the building. Like get your name in front of these people the whole time. Because eventually then when you do make your move and reach out to these to these people, um, they will you know, the, the, the probability of them responding and engaging with you is substantially higher as, as a result. Yeah. And one thing I would like to, to mention, I'm not saying like it's something that happens a lot. It's actually not happening that much, like 10%, 20%, but still it's so nice when it happens is, for example, on Brackle, we have some agencies who are building agency offer on Brackle just by engaging on LinkedIn posts for clients. And this is the only thing they do, just engaging uh, on LinkedIn posts for of potential prospects for the client. And we have like some stories and also myself, because I, I do this a lot for myself, but essentially like just by doing that, like people, they reach out to you in the DMs. It's not even you who reach out yeah. to them. Like, because you engage so much, like after like two, three, four uh, engagement, they're like, who's this guy? Like they're going to check your profile. And if it's a fit, where well, obviously it's not happening all the time again, but when it happens, it's a very good feeling. Um, and uh, yeah, when you're an agency service business and you're selling an offer 2K, 5K per month, like you don't need that many leads and they're very much convinced about your offer and the trust you've built um, doing this kind of stuff. So um, it's it can change a lot the trajectory of your of your growth actually when you have this type of uh, offers, so yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so I hope you like this new integration. We have tons of plans with the Trigify guys to make this exceptional, to have like automated leads pushed to Brackle um, depending on social signals. All right, guys, so I hope you like this new integration. We have tons of plans with the Trigify guys to improve it, to have like automated workflows, depending on when your leads are posting about a specific keyword or like doing social listening on the entire LinkedIn, job detection change where your leads are automatically um, updated in the CRM. So stay tuned over the next couple of weeks, couple of months, this integration is going to be massive. Uh, this is just the first version. So if you have feedback, just let us know at Brackle or go at Trigify directly and let these guys know about it.